my education education program supervisor for science asked us this um, way back 2018 if I'm not mistaken in one of our division-wide uh, trainings in you know science she asked us um, what are the three domains of science education in the Philippines these domains are what we are trying to do it is our they, they are our goals for our students when we enter the classroom the, these three are the most important things that we should be keeping in mind like forget about the actual content of the lesson forget about anything else she said that and then um basta wag mo lang kakalimutan yung tatlong domains mo i mean uh, she, i mean i don't i know that she doesn't mean the part where uh, we can forget about the content but i think what she was trying to do is she was just trying to emphasize how important it is for science teachers to remember the three domains and they are the following. The first one, uh, understanding and applying scientific knowledge. The second one is performing scientific processes and skills. And the last one, developing and demonstrating scientific attitudes and values. Um, if you noticed, uh, the first one is cognitive. The second one, the second domain is psychomotor. And then the last uh, domain is effective. So let's discuss them. The first domain, which is understanding and applying scientific knowledge, uh, we are expecting the students to have a wide mental bank of facts and uh, scientific truths acquired through careful observ investigation, observation even actually, of real life problems and by answering questions that matter. Their discoveries must be done in a, same, in a situation that is close to, if not exactly, real scenarios where their resourcefulness and scientific thinking are fully activated. We are moving away from merely uh, lecturing, sharing, or transferring what we know to our students. We have to move away from that and go towards uh, the approaches where we let the students uh, create or build their own learning, create their own uh, understanding, meanings of uh, the things that are around them. Okay, so that is the first uh, domain of teaching science. The second one is we, uh, they must be able to perform uh, scientific processes and skills. And if you're going to ask me, we have to add the word confidently in here. So laboratories and other scientific milieus must be familiar for students. Kailangan hindi sila parang mga foreigners sa mga science lab. Dapat sanay silang pumapasok sa mga yun. At alam nila yung diminor na kailangan kapag nasa loob ka na isang laboratory. And while you are doing something like an, act an activity, an investigation inside the laboratory, they must exhibit confidence in manipulating the laboratory as in the entire uh, place and everything that are found inside it and its resources with minimal guidance from the teacher. There, there has to be monitoring, of course, from the teacher. Kailangan ginaguide pa rin natin sila. Pero hindi yung tipong we are dictating their every single move. Okay, inside the laboratory, they must be confident. Kailangan hindi nila na feel yung parang nasa loob sila ng uh, isang place kung saan uh, nag step sila sa numero. Okay, they're not being numbered. Uh, observing proper conduct and manners of performing specific and otherwise sensitive tasks in the laboratory must be evident in the learner. Inculcating a process-oriented approach must be done orally or written through post-laboratory uh, reports and other means possible. We can ask them to write their observations or if, actually we can ask them to keep a laboratory notebook. And it is where they put their computations, their observations, their activity sheets, I mean, the copies of their activity sheets. Uh, para na rin, ano, ma-practice nila yung pag-build ng isang magandang laboratory portfolio. All of these, we want, uh, we want them to do because we want to observe um, confidence when it comes to uh, performing scientific processes and skills from, I mean, from among our students. The last one, um, if you're gonna ask me, it's equally important. It may look equally important because it's one of the three domains. Pero ito siguro meron siya pa siyang, ano, meron pa siyang 0.1 advantage for me because, you know, pwedeng napakagaling ng bata, pwedeng napakatalino niya, and napaka napakaayos ng work niya. But uh, if, yung if the child is n not having, um, you know, 
the set of values that are needed for scientific investigation it may be uh, it may it may render or that will may affect um, the processes na kailangan niyang gawin almost to I mean to nothingness kasi just try to th- to uh, think about it the stu- your student knows uh, science your student can perform science but your student is uh, not demonstrating any curiosity so yeah how is that going to be a good thing right so the last um, domain is developing and demonstrating scientific attitude and values it is perhaps the goal of education to create the best versions of people uh, scientific attitudes such as skepticism open-mindedness curiosity and result-oriented approach are not only useful in the science classroom but also in real life it, these actually are what fuels innovations itong uh, mga to itong mga scientific attitude and values yung mga ito ang talagang nagbibigay ng mga innovations sa mundo at hindi lang naman yung talino ng tao uh, it, it, it takes a person to be curious enough to really pursue something so I hope that uh, as teachers, you would be able to, ano, to have that wonder in us too, so that we will be able to transfer that wonder to our students. Because truly, um, science, if it's not the only one, it is one of the uh, subjects that are ever changing. So we need to keep up, and our students also must be able to keep up. And how are they going to do that if we, as our, as their teachers, are not? even you know lifting a finger to even read read new innovations read about new innovations read about new breakthroughs if we keep on demonstrating scientific attitude and values ourselves there is a really big chance that our students are going to learn from us about them this is the knowledge catalog